What's up there? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and in case you're new here, my name is Irene Kazambi and you're welcome to the DIY corner where we learn how to make our hair at the comfort of our home. And today I'll be doing the last video uh, in the Follox series. Yeah, I'm tired of this hair guys. So we are taking it down. Yes, yes, yes. And... So taking down for locks, like I mentioned in previous videos, depends on the method that you used. And I'll start uh, with the method that I used for my for locks, and then I'll show you uh, also how to take out, to take down uh, if you used the other crochet method. So with my method, all you need to do is look for the for the braid. And then pull it out. I have a mirror down here to help me see. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my mirror to look for the braid. Okay, I think it's here. Man, where are you? So, yeah, I have this. Then I will unbraid this. And voila. So the best thing with this method is you get your bread all. And since I've not kept this for so long, I can always reuse this. I just need to crochet here a little bit to repair the holes and then I reuse it. So it's going to detangle your hair as you go. Um Mine is not that tangled because I've not had for them for so long, but there is a tiny knot here, and this knot would have been worse if I had kept them longer. That's why you normally see people say that it was it was so hard. It's so hard for them to to get rid of the knot. Like the hair can break from here. That is where the lock was. So. Um, the best way is to be patient with the detangling. Using a well or a conditioner uh, really helps to soften the knot. Or maybe if you're, you had kept them for so long, you can use something like apple cider vinegar to melt the knot. Mine is not that matted, so I'll just use my Ayurvedic oil. Just a tiny bit. Actually, just put it on my palm. A tiny bit and then apply it on the hair remember I said that you need to be really patient during the takedown so that you don't mess up your hair then after that yeah so this is the the knots that I was talking about. It's like shed hair that, you know, the, the hair is shed, but then it cannot fall because of the braid. So it forms a knot there. So repeat the same process basically. If you feel that uh, your hair is so matted, uh, if you use the maybe the apple cider vinegar, you can just spray it in and leave it for some time to let it melt uh, the knot. So in that case, I would um, 
maybe until as I apply the whatever I'm applying all the way to the end then I start from the same side to detangle one by one but mine is not that tangled so I'll do both at the same time as you can see it's not it's not so easy to find the lock and to find the hair and that becomes harder the long uh, the longer you keep the locks so this oil also will act as my pre -pool. killing two birds with one stone the next method if your hair was crocheted in there you need to comb this lock and what you can do is uh, estimate the length of your hair and then cut then after that you need to undo this the same way you do with braids now this method requires more patience because you need to comb out this so that you can separate your hair from the locks and if you you are not sure of the method that was used to install your locks then you have to use this method or maybe if you keep them if you, if you had installed them with the matutas method and then you're not so uh, you've kept them for so long and you cannot locate your hair then you need to do this and you have to be gentle don't do it the way i'm doing it i'm doing it because i know i'm being a bit rough because i'm sure that my hair is not in here so I'm done now and my hair has really grown. I remember when fixing uh, fixing the locks was quite hard because uh, the hair was extremely short and they even started falling after one week. But here we are. So that's how long my hair is now. My hairline is intact. Uh, don't be lied by these two sections like my hair is not so thick on these two corners I always have to be so gentle with them, but yeah, otherwise my hair is perfectly Okay, and I'm happy uh, So what I'll do next is use the Use the Sarogonics uh, Tea tree and peppermint detangler uh, maybe I don't really need it because I've tried to detangle as much as I can, but not taking chances. Um, if you have longer hair, it's better to work in sections, but since mine is short, I'll just smooth it as long as it covers the whole head. then i go in with this i would have used uh, the other white combed uh white toothed comb but i think i don't need it with this length so i'll just use the this afro comb This is the amount of hair I have lost from the combing. Uh, maybe it would have been more if my hair was longer, but because my hair is short, those the, remember those uh, the shed hair is quite short. So when they clump together, they look like it's just a very small ball. And this is what I lost while I was taking down the locks. And by the way, guys, I was quite surprised because. Um, I have not shed much so this is the hair I've shed in seven weeks okay maybe slightly less because I had to refix some locks but even when refixing I wasn't getting much shed hair 
So maybe it would have been double this if I hadn't refixed the locks at any point. So in total, that's my shade here in seven weeks and I'm actually happy. So now I will go and wash my hair and do some protein treatment. I already, I already have a video on my wash day that is how I prepare my hair for a protective style and I'll repeat the same procedure now so I don't think I will uh, that will be part of this video I think I'll, I will end this video here so and also this um, and also this video marks the end of the follow up series I hope I have covered everything but if there is something that you would like me to talk about or to address leave it in the comment section down below and I'll definitely respond to you and if it's something that requires a video I can do it maybe in future because I'm definitely going to install four locks again and definitely I'm not going to throw away this I'm going to wash them uh, repair the holes uh, maybe I can share that as a video actually I will share a video on how I will prepare this for reuse yeah that should be another video yeah and that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe share see you in the next one bye bye